When you think of pineapple, you probably imagine a tropical setting and a relaxing vacation. But wait a second, if you're diabetic, does that mean you shouldn't get away for a flavor holiday? After all, pineapple tastes unbelievably sweet. So that means you should avoid this refreshing holiday treat at all costs, right? Well, we're here to send this myth back to the cold. That's right, don't be afraid to get into the vacation vibes. Because we're about to explore everything pineapple. We'll debunk the idea that diabetes and fruit don't mix. We'll also reveal how you can enjoy pineapple safely, even if you're managing erratic blood sugar levels. And we'll unveil some surprising health benefits of this delicious fruit. Before we dive into this sweet info, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And stick around, we have two free gifts coming your way. You won't want to miss them. Now, it's a Diabetes Smarts Summer, because we're about to dive into Pineapple. Is it too sweet for diabetics? You've probably heard the long-running myth that those with diabetes need to avoid eating fruit. Yes, all fruit supplies carbohydrate content and some amount of pure sugar. And pineapple is well known for having a higher glycemic index score than most other fruits. The GI of pineapple is listed as 66, which is considered medium high. In comparison, there are other fruits with much lower glycemic index ratings, like cherries, which come in at about 22. But here's the thing. The glycemic index measures how quickly a specific food will increase your blood sugar level, but it doesn't address the amount of carbohydrates per serving. That's why many doctors and nutritionists believe that measuring a food's glycemic load is a more accurate assessment for how that food will affect your blood sugar, as it takes the serving size into account. Based on a 120 gram serving, a pineapple's glycemic load is listed as 7, which actually makes it a low GL food. How is this possible? Fresh fruit is a healthy source of various vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, especially fiber. Fiber aids the body with regulation of bowel movements, increasing feelings of fullness, improving heart health, and blood sugar regulation. While pineapple carries approximately 22 grams of carbohydrates per cup, almost two and a half of those grams, or about 11% of the carb content, is actually beneficial dietary fiber. However, while soluble fiber aids with glucose control, most of the fiber within pineapple is actually insoluble fiber. This form of fiber is more associated with helping you to feel fuller quicker. Therefore, while the fiber of pineapple won't necessarily aid in slowing the absorption of glucose into your bloodstream, it can help decrease your appetite. This means eating just a little bit can help you avoid unhealthy food cravings or keep you from overeating at mealtime. So in reality, we shouldn't be wondering whether or not we can eat fruit, like pineapple. Instead, it's important to watch how much fruit you eat. That means that, yes, you can still safely enjoy a few small pieces of fresh pineapple. But pineapple's medium-high glycemic index does still suggest that you won't want to overdo your portion. So let's take a closer look into how to safely enjoy pineapple, even if you're diabetic. When it comes to eating any fruit, you'll want to watch your carb intake. Again, this means eating pineapple in moderation. But there's also an important trick you should use to help your body better manage pineapple's carb load. That trick? Pairing. What does this mean? Simply pair your pineapple with a bit of protein and healthy fat. Protein and mono or polyunsaturated fats act much like fiber inside your body, in that they will slow your digestion. And that, in turn, helps slow the release of glucose into your bloodstream. What might this look like on your plate? Well, for your next tropical dinner, grill up some chicken and include a few pineapple chunks. You could create a savory ceviche with whitefish and small pineapple cubes. Throw a few pineapple slices into a bowl of unsweetened Greek yogurt or cottage cheese. Or for your next snack, Chomp down on a small helping of pineapple along with a handful of unsalted nuts. And here's another secret behind reducing the glucose impact of your pineapple. 
its glycemic index isn't set in stone. Indeed, the glycemic index of pineapple can be affected by its ripeness, as well as the variety of pineapple you choose. As fruits ripen, a portion of their starch content will become converted into sugar. So as a piece of fruit matures, its glycemic index will actually increase. Also, fresh whole pineapple carries a lower glycemic index score than other styles, like dried pineapple, canned pineapple, or pineapple juice. Why? Well, fresh pineapple will give you the full amount of that needed fiber. But pineapple juice, on the other hand, will supply a huge burst of sugar without that fiber content. In general, sugar in liquid form has been proven to raise glucose levels higher and faster than sugar within food. Meanwhile, canned pineapple will most likely be saturated in a sugary syrup, which can certainly skyrocket your blood sugar. Also, dried pineapple may sound healthy, but while it will still contain fiber, dehydrating a fruit concentrates the sugar and the calories. So, while a one ounce serving of fresh pineapple supplies 14 calories and about 3.5 grams of total carbohydrate, 2.6 grams of which are pure sugar. A one ounce serving of dried pineapple clocks in at 69 calories, with 18 grams of carbs, 13 grams of which are pure sugar. Add it up, eating the same amount of dried pineapple instead of the fresh stuff will basically quadruple your calorie and carb intake. So ideally, you'll want to eat a few pieces of raw, fresh pineapple that's not too ripe. You'll also probably want to avoid canned pineapple, pineapple juice, and dried pineapple, especially if you plan on eating or drinking a large quantity. If you just need your pineapple fix, but only canned pineapple is available, go for a brand which only contains water, but not syrup. If you can only find dried pineapple, be very mindful to keep your portions to a minimum. Remember, you can always get too much of a good thing. So choose your pineapple wisely and eat it in moderation. Well, now you know some surprising secrets behind this delicious fruit. But there's still a ton more health benefits to be found within your pineapple. First, let's get you those two sweet free gifts. Discover a world of delicious diabetes fighting foods in our new ebook, Superfoods for Diabetics. And learn what's really going on inside your body with exclusive insights from leading medical and nutritional experts. In episode one of that diabetes documentary, you can grab both gifts just by clicking the link in the description below. Now, back to everything pineapple. Did you know that this unique fruit originated in South America? The pineapple got its name due to its very similar appearance to the pine cone. But let's look beyond its odd appearance and amusing name to learn just how much nutrition is actually hidden within. Get this. Just one serving of pineapple has 131% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin C. Vitamin C supports a healthy immune system, and research published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism revealed that it may help prevent endothelial dysfunction, or diabetes-induced blood vessel damage. Meanwhile, a serving of pineapple also contains 76% of the recommended daily intake of manganese. Manganese is also immensely important, especially for diabetics, as research now suggests that having a manganese deficiency raises the risk of insulin resistance. In fact, multiple studies show that manganese deficiencies are a common factor among type 2 diabetics. But tests have shown that supplementing your diet with manganese can improve your insulin sensitivity and aid with blood sugar control. Plus, a serving of fresh pineapple also contains 9% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin B6, copper, and thiamine. One serving also contains about 7% of your daily recommended intake for beneficial folate, and it also supplies trace amounts of other important nutrients, like potassium, magnesium, and iron. Pineapple is also jam-packed with important antioxidants, which help protect your body from free radical damage. In fact, recent studies suggest that eating fresh pineapple on a regular basis may help decrease your risk of certain forms of cancer, 
namely colon and breast cancer. But the benefits of pineapple don't stop there. Pineapple also contains digestive enzymes, called bromelain. These enzymes help break protein down into amino acids, which makes it easier for the body to absorb and utilize. Plus, as bromelain carries anti-inflammatory properties, eating pineapple regularly may decrease inflammation and reduce the symptoms of arthritis. And incredibly, bromelain has also shown promise in helping the body recover after a serious medical procedure. In fact, multiple scientific studies have demonstrated bromelain's ability to decrease post-surgery inflammation, bruising, swelling, and pain. Plus, recent research shows that pineapple can also improve immunity. In fact, a 2014 study published in the Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism found that children who ate pineapple daily had about four times the number of white blood cells compared to children who ate no pineapple. All in all, it's undeniable that you'll gain a world of positive nutrition from this sweet fruit. But we'll still leave you with a few words of caution when it comes to consuming pineapple. Don't forget to pair your pineapple serving with some lean protein and healthy fats. Limit yourself to one serving or less of pineapple a day. Choose less ripe and raw or frozen pineapple over canned, dried, and overly ripe pineapple. And if you do go for canned pineapple, make sure to avoid those brands which contain syrup. So, is pineapple too sweet for diabetics? No, simply choose the healthiest version of this summertime favorite. Limit your portions and enjoy your pineapple with a side of healthy protein or unsaturated fat. Yes, there are smart ways to consume and enjoy this delicious fruit every now and again even when you're not actually on vacation. So what do you think? Are you a fan of pineapple? What's your favorite go-to fruit? And what's your go-to pairing choice? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget, grab your two free gifts just by clicking that link in the description below. If you liked this video, then by all means, hit that like button. Plus, we'd love if you subscribed to our channel. Stay tuned to Diabetes Smarts, and we'll keep bringing you all the latest tips for how you can fight back against diabetes. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.